guys welcome back to the channel now I know this is different than video games for the main channel but I saw this and I just wanted to share it with you guys so apparently WWE superstar John Cena seems to be making a big mark in Hollywood following the footsteps of The Rock uh, he's been in movies ever since he starred in the Marine now according to the Hollywood Reporter They revealed that the wrestler turned actor is involved in negotiations to star as Duke Nukem in the titular video game and The big screen adaptation is supposed to be you know coming soon. They're writing about it now So Cena has been involved in all kinds of Hollywood movies and most recently He's been the voice of Ferdinand and he had another small part in daddy's home, too so, Cena's in negotiations to star as Duke Nukem in the Platinum Dooms production. For the moment, there's no director, apparently there's no script, but I guess they want to get him on board because he looks like him. You know, John Cena's a funny guy. I think he could pull off that uh, dry humor that Duke Nukem had. So, an official announcement has not been made by Paramount Pictures yet, but we're hoping that it's only a matter of time. So fans of John Cena and Duke Nukem are hoping that this is going to be finally his big break. And, um, you know, Duke Nukem games were awesome back in the computer days. And, uh, you know, even the 64 game was okay. But if you think back to the 360 and the PS3 game, Duke Nukem Forever, that was very so-so. So it would have to be a hell of a script for uh, me to really, you know, get behind this. But, you know, it's still early, so we'll see what happens. And on the other side of the coin, according to Revenge of the Fans, a source close to the project believes that Gyllenhaal will be a direct replacement for Ben Affleck should and when the actor leave the role. So quoting, Gyllenhaal is probably Batman. Affleck is not out of it yet, the source says, but that's the thing. He still has a contract, but the, su the studio is souring on him. If Ben rolls, Jake is in. So this certainly adds fuel to the rumor that Gyllenhaal will replace Ben Affleck as the Dark Knight in the DC Extended Universe, and they plan for him to star in the new Batman trilogy, and presumably he'll have a central role in other ensemble pieces like potential Justice League sequels. So we know Gyllenhaal can get bigger because he was in a boxing movie, he was in uh, Jarhead, so we know he can put on the weight. Uh, I think he looks like Bruce Wayne, he could probably pull it off, he's done roles like that before. And, uh, you know, his uh, Brokeback Mountain buddy has been the Joker before, so there is a connection there, as well as his sister taking over for the Dawson's Creek girl in the second Batman of the Nolan trilogy. So, you know, all these things are connecting. And, uh, you know, Jake Gyllenhaal's a good actor. Uh, he tried his hat at uh, uh, Prince of Persia. That didn't work out too well. I've never actually seen it. I didn't really hear good things about it. But, you know, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I hope he does well in it because, uh, you know, I like Ben Affleck, just I don't like Batflack. There's something about it. I just don't like him in the role. So, you know, let me know down in the comments. What do you think about these? Are they just rumors? Do you think that the two actors are good fits? Do you think these movies are even going to happen? So, you know, let's talk. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. And I'm out of here. Thanks for watching.